Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we are doing my roundup of my lifestyle favorites from the past month of November. love making these videos I talk about so much good stuff on this channel as well as my vlog channel and I like this place to have to just like round off all the best the things that I'm using all the time the things whether I'm revisiting them this month or um, I just got them this month so we got a lot of good stuff and I'm excited to jump on in and share with you them let's start with home goods for the home to start with you guys know if you watched my Amazon video I raved about this this little stair basket it is literally amazing I feel like this would make a really good gift as well because we all have things that gather on our stairs right especially if we have kids husbands all the things but this thing is awesome it completely collapses so it's really nice you can store it away you don't have to have like a big wicker basket on your stairs all the time it has a pretty large inside I use this for socks shoes that just like end up downstairs but need to go back upstairs just like anything you can imagine but it looks so much nicer having it in this basket and it's so much easier to just grab the handles and bring it upstairs empty it all out and bring it back down when you go I'm obsessed with this thing the only thing I wish is that I bought it earlier you can get this on Amazon um, if you haven't checked out my Amazon recent purchases I will link that up in the cards for you to check out but this thing is awesome and I'm so happy that I got it if you have an issue with your husband your toddler anything or even yourself you take off things around the house and don't put them back where they go check that guy out I swear not only am I amazed that things end up in the basket I'm amazed that things make their way upstairs without me I'm like do I have a fairy in the house? I don't know. It's awesome. So check it out if you are looking for a good stair basket. That thing has literally changed my life. I swear. But on a serious note, the other thing that has changed my life, if you guys are not new to my channel, then you've heard me talk about iLife before. This is my robot vacuum and mop. They are running an amazing Black Friday sale and they are partnering with me on this video to tell you guys all about it. I have used this vacuum for over a year now and I also used it in my previous home and now I'm using it here. So I'm going to break down a little bit about why I love it, how amazing it is, all the features of it as well as tell you a little bit about their Black Friday sale. This would be a great time to go ahead and either gift it for yourself so you don't have to worry about cleaning the home with all the other craziness that lingers around the holidays or gift it to someone as a really amazing Christmas gift. So let's go ahead, head downstairs, and I will share with you all about my iLife vacuum. All right, so I'm sure you can hear the vacuum going in the background. It is so quick and so easy. I do a rough pickup of the house. Not every single time I run it because it is really good about just running around things, but if I want like a deep clean, which I plan to do today, a deep clean plus a deep mop, I pick up the big toys so that it has the best like areas to clean from and then I just pop them back, but it's super quick and super easy. It does carpets, it does floors, tile, all the things. Um, and I will come down and check in with you again when I'm ready to switch it to the mop version. And you can have it on eco if you have a larger home and need to conserve a little bit more energy. And you can also change the function of how um, much suction power it has. So absolutely love how customizable it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put the vacuum down. I flip up the lid. I remove the dust box. Dust box is removed. See? <laughs> Do not rinse or soak the box in water. Water tank has been installed. Water tank's in. Pop it down. Now we need to switch out the bottom gear. Pop off this little thing. Sit with this guy. 
and then this switches out to the mop. Go ahead and pop that guy in there and that's all it takes to get it from vacuum to mop. It's so simple. So now let's go ahead and run the mop. But first, before we start mopping, I need to add my um, rugs where they are. So once it hits mopping mode, I go ahead and hit pause and then I add a virtual wall. So I add one of those guys and that's basically where your rug is gonna be. So my rug comes to about there and then I go ahead and put one more right here. Save those guys and press start. This is the scrubbing feature that I really like. So it really gets off those hard to get stains because it goes over the area twice. It goes like back and forth. Same thing you would do when you mop. I absolutely love it. Kind of like a V-motion. All right, so that wraps up my little home category. Um, I have been obsessed with that vacuum for a very long time now. So if you are curious to check anything out, check out the description box down below for any links. Let's move on to, let's do skincare. Okay, so sorry if you watched my Amazon video because I mentioned all three of these products in there, but I've recently been using them. This one specifically, I've been using for well over this past month, I think like a month and a half, two months. This is the Saturday Skin Glycolic um, Pore Care Complex in the 4%. It's a serum, you can see I've used quite a bit of it actually. Um, I've been using this about twice a week. I've been trying skin cycling, which I'm going to plan to do a video on my channel about my skincare cycling and what I've been doing and all that. But this is what I've been using as my exfoliator, my liquid exfoliator. My skin has just really been enjoying glycolic acid. I forgot because I haven't used glycolic acid in a couple years. So bringing it back into my routine has made just a glowier difference to my skin. Um, I don't get as many like in, like you know when you're washing your face and you just like feel things like congested in your pores. I feel like this has truly helped kind of clear that out but you wanna make sure that you're not over exfoliating. That was my biggest thing when I was breaking out, freaking out is I was over exfoliating. I would use this plus like 10 other things like five times a week and it was too much. So adding this in in the correct amount has been a game changer for my skin and I'm super in love with it. And I did find out that they have a higher percentage as well. So you can work your way up to the higher percentage. But Saturday Skin, they used to sell this at Sephora. So I'm pretty familiar with it but now you can get it on Amazon and it is a Korean skincare line. So I love this. They have a really good moisturizer that I've used as well, but this is awesome for a liquid exfoliating serum. I'm obsessed. Continuing with skincare, I have the King Ping Pyong Pyong King Yule. I don't know. It's the Essence Toner. I have thoroughly enjoyed this. I've been using it for about three weeks now. I use it morning and night. After I wash my face, it's the first step that I do after my face is still a little bit damp. I put on this Essence. I just take it. It's kind of got a fun sort of consistency. It's not a super watery Essence, but it's not like a thick um, gel either. It's kind of like a mix between the Snail Mucin from COSRX and like SK2 or something like that, but like a fraction of the price. It is such an affordable product and I've really been enjoying it. If you go overboard, it can leave a little bit of like a, what do I wanna say, like a film, but it does eventually sink into the skin. This just helps the rest of your products sink in, go in deeper. You want to leave a little bit of moisture on your skin for the rest of your products to kind of soak in. So I've really been enjoying this. I'm all about like extra hydration in these winter months because my skin just tends to get pretty dry. So I've been loving this. I like light layers of moisture. I found that my skin really enjoys that. So this has been an amazing step in my routine. And a couple of you had said when I mentioned this in my Amazon video that this has been a repurchase and a staple for you guys too. So I'm so happy that I finally tried it out and 
I can honestly say that I will continue incorporating this into my routine and I love it. It's light enough to use layered under makeup in the afternoons or in the mornings and then it's um, rich enough, hydrating enough for the evenings. Okay, my last skincare product is the Beauty of Josen, which again is another Korean skincare. I'm really trying to dabble more in my Korean skincare. It's just so affordable and it's such good quality. So this is an SPF with rice and probiotics. It's SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 plus super good. This is a chemical sunscreen. I've been really sticking with mineral sunscreens for probably the past like year and a half or so. And, um, I love my Elta MD tinted SPF. It is awesome, but I really wanted something that just paired well under makeup. That was a bit more cost effective because I'm already using my Ulta MD every single day, but I was using it like twice a day and I just go through it so fast. Like I pretty much go through one, like I was realizing that it's actually less than a month that lasts me. So I was just wanting something a bit more affordable and I wanted to try this one out because I've heard really good things about it. It's lightweight. It's kind of serum -y. It does slightly have a bluish tint when you first put it on, but once you rub it in, no white cast whatsoever. It does not peel under my makeup, which is my number one, like, thing and now that I'm headed into the winter where I don't have as much like super direct sun like I still have sun I still want to wear an SPF under my makeup but I don't necessarily feel like I need a mineral one when I'm already wearing makeup over the top so I don't know I'm trying it out and so far so good this is a really nice sunscreen it's not quite as like hydrating as the um Elta MD but another really good one I feel like the Elta MD is almost like kind of a whipped sort of moisturizer situation it's awesome um but i can sometimes feel because i'm getting much paler in my life that it's almost a little too tinted for me but again it has a nice glow i absolutely love that this does as well um just no tint it is a completely white spf which is fine underneath my spf so i'm really happy that i found this this is like around 17 dollars, and i think i will continue to repurchase this uh, I've been using it for about three, four weeks now, and so far, so good. All right, let's move into makeup. I have two makeup favorites, which is honestly surprising because I just did that large Sephora haul, but two really stuck out to me. Well, honestly, just this one. I have other favorites from the Sephora sale, but not that I've been using long enough, right? So this is the Hourglass palette. This is the Ambient Lighting palette in the Lighting Edit Unlocked and the elephant. I don't know if they still have this available. It is limited edition. It has absolutely stunning colors in it. I've fallen in love with the ambient lighting powders and I just wanted one palette that kind of had it all so I didn't have to have multiples. I've really downsized my collection and I just wanted something a little bit more simple. So I loved this. I thought this would be awesome for traveling and also just awesome to have everything in one spot. So I've been using a ton, the bronzer, which is a new color as well as the blush, which is also a new color. So they do also like have some of these in the regular collection, but some of these are fully limited edition. So if you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. It blends so flawlessly. It's just stunning. And the large mirror is really nice. And I just, I mean, it's so good. I started out with minis of like everything from Hourglass. Like I had a finishing powder from there and then I also had a browns bronzer and I fell in love with it. So I just decided to get the large palette when they did this for a sale. Um, but like I said, it's, it sold out when I was looking at it the other day. So I hope it's not currently sold out, but if you can get your hands on it, check it out. This is another product that I got from a Sephora sale like a couple, maybe like two years ago. Um, and I just like not used it as much. I was really, really still stuck on my Laura Mercier translucent powder. But since my skin has gotten more dry, I've been reaching more for this powder and it is awesome. This is the Kosas um, Feathery Cloud Set or Cloud Set Powder in Feathery. I like dug my finger in that accidentally. But this is just the perfect amount of like setting your face so you don't feel like things stick to it unevenly. I don't know about you, but I have to let my foundation either like completely dry down 
or I need to set it. I still always set it a little bit because I feel like if I put my blush on or my bronzer on, it doesn't slide over and give me an even like coat of color. It will kind of stick to certain patches because based off of like what concealer you're using and whatnot, it just doesn't always lay flat for me. So that's what I loved about this powder is that it doesn't add matteness to me. It doesn't add really much of anything. It just kind of blurs the foundation, sets the foundation, and gives you a smooth um, like canvas to be able to bronze and um, blush. And I've been loving it. So I've reached for it probably honestly over the past like two months. I've been really into it. I know I mentioned it in my Sephora recommendations video. And it's because I've been using it more and more. And I honestly took my Laura Mercier out of my um, like everyday makeup and replaced it with this and I can use it to set under my eyes. I do prefer it with a brush instead of a beauty blender. So I will link also down below the brush that I use with this, but it's awesome. I don't love it with a beauty blender. I used to use my Laura Mercier with a beauty blender, but this is really good powder. If you're more on that dry, um, normal sort of skin tone or skin type and you don't need like a super mattifying Laura Mercier translucent. Check this one out. Okay, let's move into fashion. I've been wearing these a ton of more this past month. I feel like I just didn't wear them out as much when I first bought them, but now I've been wearing them all the time. They are my Vejas um, sneakers. I don't know what the style of it is, but I will link it down below. They have like a very neutral suede overlay on them. I think they're really nice. They're they're neutral, so they literally go with everything, but I've been reaching for sneakers a bit more. I feel like I was reaching for my clogs a ton during the fall, but it is now officially like winter. So I need something with more of like a rubber heel that I don't, um, you know, mind if it gets a little wet or snowy or whatever. So I've been reaching, I mean, oh gosh, I didn't realize how dirty these were. I've been reaching for these a ton. I think they're a classic shoe and I'm really happy that I finally decided to get a pair of Vejas. I feel like I, waited for so long um and i'm obsessed with them i'm pretty sure you can still get this color um but they have a ton of different colorways as well but i really enjoy this like neutral print and i like the v because it's like subtle it's not like in your face branded um but you like know what it is if you know but i think these are such a classic shoe and i'm so happy um that i got these and i've been wearing them a lot this past month okay, this is a super random one but i'm gonna talk about my favorite bra <laughs> um i actually have the padded one on right now but this is the non-padded one these are skims bras these are like the fits everyone t-shirt or fits everyone bra i'm not exactly sure but i will have the exact one linked down below as well as like on the screen i really feel like i invest in like a a new bra or two like every so every couple of years it's not like something i do all the time um it's a larger investment they're not really like fun to buy you like have to buy them or... i need to wear a bra personal preference just what it is and I always went to Victoria's Secret and my dad always got us the every girl in the family Victoria's Secret gift cards every year for Christmas and then there was one year where there was this huge scandal and people were like stealing the money off of the gift cards that happened to my aunt um my dad bought her like a $500 gift card and it was all gone um thankfully it didn't happen to mine but that was happening and so he just like stopped buying them from now on and buys something else for people I don't write just other gift cards but um I always used that to just like up on my bras and my underwear and then I really just like was just kind of over the Victoria's Secret bras I just feel like they're not that good the wires would always pop out on me eventually I felt like I was just still stuck in that wanting that like giant push-up bra and if you watched the video where I made of like things I no longer do or buy beauty fashion edition then you know I've kind of stopped wearing giant push-up bras I do have some push-up bras still but they're not like those ones where it's like you have this much room left for your boob and the whole cup you know what I mean but the skims bras if you have not tried skims i honestly was super impressed i think they're just under a 50 dollars um which i really think is a great deal the quality is really nice they're super seamless i feel like the details they're a very like traditional bra they have like the um class that you can get out they are so buttery soft they're 
literally so comfortable like I could wear these all the time they fit so nicely and snugly against my chest there's no gaping there is a size chart to measure on the site so you feel like you get the right correct one which I needed to anyways since having a baby I hadn't gotten new bras and so I needed to like Remeasure myself, but I'm just a really big fan of these skims bras So if you have not tried out skims, I feel like everyone and their mama's tried out skims, but they talk about the lounge clothes The bras are where it's at. I swear they're so good So I will link the two that are my favorite in the description box down below if you watched my video where I partnered with Halara to talk about their um line I had no idea how much I was missing out and not trying Halara um phenomenal but I've been living in their joggers like no other but I feel like this is by far one of my favorite pieces that I got um it's probably filthy because I wear it like every other day um this is one of their cropped like hoodies this is first of all the color is everything it's like a cobalt blue I had a lululemon sweatshirt I still have it one of those scubas and it was kind of like this when I first got it and now it's so faded but I love it still but this is just a bit like I don't know how to explain it I like it just as much and it's like not as much it's not it's not a dupe for the scuba by any means but it's slightly cropped but not overly cropped um I love the color I love the drop shoulder of it it has a hood on it which the original scuba that I have does not have a hood but I love this I feel like it's bold but it's blue so it still goes with like all of my different workout wear colors so I wear this primarily to throw on before I go to the gym to do my warm-up or around the house it's just been everything and this blue color I feel like is stunning it's super fuzzy super soft inside all the edges are finished off so no unraveling will happen and I do love the little aglets um on the strings they're just nice so I've been obsessed with Halara and this sweatshirt just mainly the color and well not just the color the fit of it as well it's just amazing so if you haven't checked out Halara I will have this one linked down below everything that I tried I really freaking loved but that sweatshirt was just cream of the crop I'm obsessed all right, now let's get into some random food and entertainment. Uh, Liquid IV launched a new flavor this month, which I'm pumped about, and it's from their Immune Line. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know the Immune Line is one of my favorites. It was the original um, one that I tried, the Tangerine Immunity. Uh, this just has, I want to say, yes, yeah, 560 percent of your daily vitamin C. It has beta glucan and then it has 100% of your daily value of zinc. So this is great going into those holiday seasons if you're flying, if you're just have kids in daycare, awesome. I'm just so happy they released a new flavor. So they only had tangerine in the past for their immunity line and now they have wild berry. So good. I do have a little um, code. This is not sponsored by any means, but I do have a little affiliate code that you can use and everything will be linked down below. But I love Liquid IV. I feel like it's just an easy way to get some extra hydration when you're already drinking water. If you struggle with drinking water, this will help you drink more A, because it's flavored, B, because it just helps lock the water and retain the water in your cells so that you're more hydrated. So I love this. Plus this obviously has immunity going into those nasty colds and flu and sick months. You need it. So try out the new berry flavor. 10 out of 10. I did a taste test with Scott on my vlog channel and he liked it as well. Okay, and then my last food favorite is from Trader Joe's and I don't actually have it to show you. I baked two of them already and they are, I will leave a little picture right here. The chocolate peppermint loaf from Trader Joe's is so good. If you guys have not tried it, run, grab it on your next Trader Joe's um, trip. It's so so yum but wait for it to cool down i find that when i eat it fresh out of the oven it has just too much of a strong peppermint flavor that kind of overpowers the chocolate but once it's cooled down it stays so like moist and just it's everything it's so good it puts me in the holiday spirit and i'm obsessed with it uh, arlo calls it chocolate cake it's so freaking good and then let's round everything off with my entertainment favorite of this month which is white lotus season two i think there's been four episodes so far and I'm in love if you haven't watched season one it's on HBO um, highly recommend it it's just like 
quirky, mysterious, funny. It's, it's everything. It has a little bit of everything in it and I've really been into it so far this season. I think there's only around six episodes or so. Well, that's what there were last season. So I'm not sure if there'll be more because that was kind of like the pilot season, but same kind of premise as season one, just a different cast members and a little bit different of a location, but I've been in love with it. So let me know what else you guys have been watching in the comments down below. I'm always curious to get some recommendations from you guys because y'all all have good taste, I know. And if you haven't checked out White Lotus, highly recommend. So those are all of my favorites from this past month of November. I hope you all are having a great start to your winter holiday season. And yeah, I love you guys so much. If you're curious to check out anything that I mentioned in the video, everything will be in the links down below for you guys to check out. And do not forget to check out iLife's um, Black Friday sale. It is one that you are not going to want to miss. Again, all the details will be linked in the description box down below for you guys to check out whether you gift it to yourself you should, or gift it to a loved one. I think it would make an amazing Christmas gift. So I love you guys so much. Thank y'all for stopping by and watching and spending your time with me and I'll see y'all in my next video.